Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tim Dillon Show, audio only out of Chicago. Uh, me and Ben were reading Lori Lightfoot, uh, the mayor, her Yelp profile, which is pretty spectacular, as you would imagine it would be. Everything Lori Lightfoot does, everything she wears, every expression she makes or doesn't make, the pitch of her raspy voice, her turn of phrase, her kind of blank look, the stare, when she just stares at a reporter. There's, there's nothing about Lori Lightfoot that I don't love. Truly, yeah, I only want to talk to black reporters Constantly with the race card, constantly with the gay sexuality card, the, the, the misogyny card. I mean, I, I, again, a true Batman villain, a true corrupt goon, her local feuds with Burger King Ed, the disgraced city council member as they fight over a Burger King renovation, her winning in a runoff election against some other idiot. Preckwinkle, Tony yeah, Preckwinkle. Yeah, whatever. I mean, just the idea that this woman is is the mayor of Chicago. It's like an it's a real city, right? So there's something very interesting about um Lori Lightfoot to me. There, there's something interesting that somebody like her is able to climb the ranks to become the mayor of Chicago. And and you found her Yelp profile. Yeah, shout out from, to the person that sent me this. From, from when before she was mayor. You know, so so the idea that Lori Lightfoot is a Yelper is beautiful. <laughs> the idea that Lori Lightfoot worked in government her whole life, worked on the police accountability task force. So we know she loves accountability. Mm -hmm. Okay? And there's something great about her. Now, this is a Yelp review of when she... So this is from August 2017, and this is a review of a party bus rental place, a limo it's, and party it's buses. A lim so Lightfoot is going out on the town. Mm -hmm. Is she married at that point? Yes, because she mentions her wife in this. So Lightfoot is married, and yes. she's going out on the town. Now, we don't know to what. Do we know? No, it just says she's using the service VIP limousine, and she gave them one star. She's using the VIP limousine service in <laughs> Chicago. And she's going out on the town, and she's unhappy with how this played out. Lori Lightfoot, now mayor of Chicago, very unhappy with the service being given to her by VIP Limousine. Now, go into this. I want you to read the review, because what's great about this is the company does something mm. that companies rarely do. Mm. They rarely do this. They... Call her out mm -hmm. as not only uh, a liar, okay, but an abusive <laughs> person. And companies usually just write, thanks for the review. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. You've seen what companies write. Mm. Thank you so much. But this is the, this is the reality. This company had had enough. They had had enough. VIP limo of Chicago, all due respect, calls Lori Lightfoot out. Now, Ben is going to read this review posted when? Uh, 2017. And here is Lori. I would never use VIP limo again. Driver Carlos showed up early for our pickup. A good sign, right? Turned out not to be so. Well, I'm going to read it the way she wrote it. Turned out not be so. Carlos shows Turned up. out not be so. Yes. Now, one of two things is happening. <laughs> Lori is using the parlance of the streets, or, <laughs> or she's angrily typing, which I think is probably more likely. Yeah. Lori is enraged mm -hmm. typing this review. Mm -hmm. So so she's not not every word might not be. But the general message is going to come through. Continue. Mm -hmm. Carlos shows up and wants to use our bathroom. A little strange, but fine. Turns out he pisses in our toilet and does not have the courtesy to put down the toilet seats. Beginning of the end. We were going to the United Center. Carlos clearly has no idea who to get there. 
He is totally reliant on a whacked GPS system that has him driving his huge Cadillac Escalade stretch down extremely narrow neighborhood streets, going in a route that made no sense. I had to take over and give him clear directions to get to the expressway. Apparently, that was totally emasculating to him. But how says, my GPS says I should get off at Division off the expressway when we are going much further south and west. We finally get there, and he says he needs two numbers for the return pickup. We had already given the person paying. Oh, wait. We had already given him one from my female spouse. I say I will just give him mine since I am the person paying. Carlos says, I need one from the gentleman. I am totally confused and question this. Carlos explains to this dumb female that he needs a number from a guy because girls take too many pictures and run down the battery on their phone. My expression must have said something because then he then said, trust me, I have been doing this 20 years. I'm a middle-aged woman, not some dumb kid from his misogynistic worldview. I, of course, gave it to him, and his response was to rudely close the window divider while I was talking. The guy was a complete a-hole. Stupid, terrible driver and a complete jerk on top of it. Can't believe he is employed, and I would never use the service again while he is. Lori Lightfoot reviewing her trip to the United Center... <laughs> where she went with her spouse and an unspecified gentleman mm -hmm. to some event. Mm -hmm. Very angry at Carlos, the limo driver, <laughs> for not knowing what to do. She got mad at him for traveling down suburban streets. He pissed on the, all of the toilet Pissed lid. on the toilet. Now, here. Here is the... The business owner's response. The turn. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real turn here. <laughs> because as let us all remember, this woman is in charge of one of the largest cities in America. Yes. This is a real turn. This is what they call uh, a reveal. If you're a fan of, of uh, dramatic terminology. Because mm -hmm. we now find out that Lori's character is called into question... <laughs> By the good people, dare I say, good people at VIP Limousine in Chicago. Remember, this opened up with Lori very puzzled about a man showing up to use the bathroom and then pissing all over her seat, which she then called the beginning of the end. Here is the statement from the Chicago VIP Limo. One. Our driver did not use your bathroom. We checked the vehicle cameras and he did not enter your home. You had lots of guests over and of them could have done what you claim our wonderful driver Carlos did. Two, our drivers have GPS systems that work with current events and traffic. Chicago Austin often has festivals and we have to work our way around them. It is not your place to tell him how to do his job. Three, our drivers ask for a gentleman's phone number actually because they don't ever want to seem inappropriate asking for a lady's phone number. And you should appreciate that Carlos took the time to ask for a backup phone number in case you lose signal or battery. Again, our drivers know what they are doing and have experience. Now, here's the final paragraph here. It seems to me the only person here who is sexist, my dear, is you. I don't know where you come to your conclusion that you were emasculating him. Maybe you hoped you were. Your language is horrendous and lewd. Just your rant here make me feel embarrassed for you. Also, wow. That's pretty insulting that you refer to women who like to take a lot of pics at their events as dumb females. Your driver arrived early. He got you on time and safely to your event. Your credit card you provided on the contract was declining. We even let you use a different credit card for payment, which is against our rules. And you received an upgraded vehicle twice the price of what you paid without any upcharge as a free upgrade from our company. Wish I could review customers like you. Find something better to do with your time. And you should appreciate great service when you receive it. Wow. I mean, you want to talk about the SmackDown. You want to talk about a total and utter embarrassment. Yeah. Can I am just enjoying picturing her face reading that. Her expressionless face reading this, which shuts her down mm -hmm. completely. The guy did not leave his car. So this, this woman mm. made up. She made up yes. that he went into her house and pissed on her seat. Mm. She just made that up. She pulled that out of thin air, mm. if we are to believe these people, which I don't see any reason why not. By the way, it's the fact that's why they took everything else with a grain of salt. 
They caught her Im- immediately in a lie. So then they go, well, now we're just, because that was one of the harshest responses I have ever seen a company give. (laughs) So you know that they are confident that they are in the right. They are confident that they're 100% in the right. I have never seen a statement from a company delivered with such venom as as the, the correction to Lori Lightfoot's slander. You know who this person is. Like, you know who Lori is. She's, yes. um, a, you know, you want to talk about a bureaucrat. You want to talk about uh, 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 somebody who is pushy, rude, demanding, likes getting people in trouble, likes calling people out, does not like to be called out, does not like to be responsible for their own behavior, mm. invents versions of of interactions that did not happen, as long as the person looks horrible, likes people getting fired, (laughs) likes people getting shamed, likes people losing money. This is the type of person who we're dealing with, truly. And I couldn't love her more. (laughs) I couldn't feel more of an affection for this woman and a gratitude that she's on the planet because my entertainment is so important to me Mm. because the world is... Is, is is really trite. And yet this is great. Now, yes, if I was someone who lived in one of these places in Chicago that was, you know, suffering from inordinately, and I mean to say inordinately, but high rates of homicide, uh, the city is falling apart, sure. Not her fault, but she's clearly not helping. Sure. I would maybe find it less humorous. But the fact that I don't live anywhere near her, and I can just, I don't, I have, there's no... I don't deal with any of the repercussions from her personal behavior, which is, as we've seen, atrocious. <laughs> to me, she's just a very entertaining person. The ill-fitting suits, the fedoras, the blank stare, you know, the dancing. She, she's like on camera dancing with people. She has no conscience, Lori Lightfoot. And that is what I like about her. She will lie about a limo driver and say he pissed in her house to get him fired. She has no conscience. It is what allows her to dance as people are getting shot. Children are getting shot in the face. She dances. She has no conscience. She's a true villain. (laughs) Truly, all the things we find abominable in the world, abhorrent, all of the, the personality types that we want to avoid, the nanny, the rat, the Karen, the the person who, you know, keeps the receipts and tries to, you know, uh, you know, get somebody fired, embarrass somebody. This is this is who she is. And this is how she runs Chicago. A petty, vindictive chief executive who will not take any blame. But again, a, a huge fan of her. Uh, and I wish her the best. <laughs> Because nothing to me is better than someone who wears baggy pants, like her her pants don't fit, and she's standing there. You got to get that photo up of her if you haven't yeah. seen her. Yeah. And she's just standing there, staring blankly. Mm-hmm. You know, the pant leg is going under the heel of the shoe. Yes, she's walking on her pants. Yes, they're so long. Yes, that is what. A goon does. That is what a villain does. It, it, it is it is so important as a villain, uh, as a troll. And she is a troll of the highest order. Her lack of care about her appearance is because, again, she doesn't live in reality. She's living in a world where the pants fit. She's living in a world where they're turning the corner on the shootings. She's living in a world where the limo driver pissed all over her couch. <laughs> and, and that world has elected her mayor of Chicago. Yeah. 